this video is geared towards the women on my channel. But I hope you men continue to watch because we may need some of your advice. Today's topic we're going to talk about is safety and knowing your boundaries and some things that transpired in my life this week. This is really different for a Friday video, but I wanted to share with you this topic because it's very important. We're going to talk about different aspects of being safe. We're going to talk about being safe on the internet and being safe in all areas of your life. And this is geared towards the women, but I hope you men can help us out in the comments and give us some more suggestions. And I'm going to tell you the reason for my video. There was a point this week where I saw that I had a breach of safety. There was a point this week where something took place in my life and I realized I'm not as safe as I should be. I had to call in reinforcement and I had to call in the experts. And through the experts and my son, we just really made things a lot safer for me on my channel and just safer for me in general. Of course, if you have a channel like I do, it's a little different than a lot of you girls have it when you're just, you know, at home. But I'm going to talk about different points of safety and some things that we need to really realize in our life. I realized at this point in my channel that I need to take extra precautions. It was apparent to me that I really need to take extra precautions in just my safety, just the safety of my channel in general, and just to reinforce a lot of things. I also reinforced my home life with cameras and security. All of these things are important to me because of my publicness on YouTube, but because of just things in general that are in my life. It's something we don't think about often, and it's something that we really should think about. Social media is a wonderful platform, but you have to be really, really careful. You have to be careful in what you share your identity with others. You have to be careful what you share, where you live, and all of those things. And I realized that, and I took extra precautions. But what about other than social media? There's many things in our lives that we just don't think about. So many times we're such a hurry going here and there and we aren't really in tune with what's going on around us. You know what it's like. Say you walk out of a grocery store with lots of bags of groceries and you're very busy trying to get all your groceries put away in the car. Are you aware of what's going on in your surroundings? So I'm going to give you some tips on things that you can help yourself for safety. Number one thing I always suggest is when you go to a grocery store, make sure you always lock your car. No matter where you go, lock your vehicles. I even lock my vehicles even at home. Always lock your vehicles. And for that matter, always lock your house. All these things are important just for your general safety. Now for me, I have security cameras and that's not for everyone. But locking your house and locking your car is really important. Many times there have been cases where people would hide in a vehicle and when the woman would go in the vehicle they would of course startle her and surprise her. Make sure when you're parking anywhere in the public that you park where there's other people. When I was a little girl my daddy had a really nice car and he would always park his car way out at the back of the parking lot because he was always afraid that someone was going to bump into his car doors. But you know, in this day and age, it's really important to keep your car parked in a very well-lit area. Another thing about your surroundings are just take a good look of your surroundings wherever you are. If you carry a pocketbook or a wallet, make sure you have that secure with you at all times. I've seen so many ladies have a pocketbook in their cart while they're way off down the aisle looking for something. Keep your pocketbook close at hand. There are so many ways to scam and so many ways to do personal injury. Personal injury doesn't always have to be physical. How about if somebody takes your identity? 
I've seen that happen quite a bit lately, especially on the internet. They take your name and they take your photo and they go everywhere and they proclaim that they are you. It's very disgusting and very heart-wrenching to see that happen. A lot of times they do it for fun and jokes, but I take it seriously. And if I see that happening, I make sure that I report it to the authorities. There's also been a lot of scams that are happening on the internet. You know, we are living in desperate times, and I do believe that. There's a lot of people that are looking out for ways that they can scam, and it's oftentimes the older generation. Because the younger generation are more tech savvy, but the older generation are being duped into thousands and thousands of dollars. Be very careful. If something comes your way and you're just not sure about it, always ask a loved one. Always ask someone that's younger than you or someone that knows about computers. Always ask them first to make sure that it's okay to go through with it and it has a clearance. So many times they will prey upon women, especially there are widowers or women that are single. A lot of times they will come into your life and they will be your friend. And it's not just a male friend, what I'm finding. A lot of times there will be a friend that comes your way and they just pretend to be your friend. And oftentimes they have ulterior motives. They want you to buy them things or they hint for this and hint for that. Be very careful, my friends, because those are e-baggers. And those are people that prey upon your loneliness in order to get a friendship, but it's going to cost you something. Many good people on the internet, and there are many needs that are legitimate, but you got to be careful with these GoFundMe pages. Hundreds of GoFundMe pages for people that you don't know the whole situation and you don't know the whole story. And you just see a photo and you see something written. If you want to give to that, I would suggest you research it more. Find out the hidden details about people's lives. Don't just throw all kinds of money and you have no idea exactly what you're paying for. A lot of times what I like to do is I like to actually pay a bill. Pay someone's bill instead of handing them money in their pocket or buy something that they need. Many times you'll find people in need. Instead of handing them $100, buy them $100 worth of food. That way you know you're giving something that really can help them out. Especially when you see the people needy on the streets. Instead of giving them money, buy them things that they can use. And you know what? A lot of times they will decline your offer. They'll never decline the money. These are things that are very important. And because of the situation I was in this week, it really brought to light how different ways that we can be scammed, we can be conned, and we can be tricked. But all of these things we can have a handle on. We can protect ourselves. We can be more assertive and we can be more alert to what's happening in our world. If I wasn't very alert and didn't get a phone call saying I had a breach of security, I don't know what could have happened in my life, but it wouldn't have been good. So for me, I've gone the extra mile because of my public personality and because of my public life here on YouTube. But all of you can do something. Maybe there's something I forgot to mention. I really want this to be an open dialogue, communication with everyone. Because a lot of times I would think of something and never even think about something else that you guys come up with. You guys have come up with a lot of great ideas. I know a lot of people, especially the women, who live at home alone have a dog. And that is really amazing because a dog can alert you to any kind of sounds. And that is great. Make sure you always have an extra contact number. Make sure you have a cell phone with you that you can call quickly when you need it. These are not things to scare us. Like so many things in our world today, these are things to empower us. These are things to make us stronger. And these are things to help us. I admit to you, when I started my online experience, I was very naive. But quickly, I'm becoming very savvy with the world and the ways that they like to con, scam, and even take identity. It's a crazy world we live in, but guess what? There's a world of people that are fighting against it, and guess what? These people are getting caught. What? I miss the good old days when we had the telephone on the wall with the long cord. <laughs> and when we didn't want to be bothered, all we did is we left the phone off the hook, and you would hear that beep, 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 beep. 
Has it been that long ago? To me, it seems like yesterday. But yet this world is going at a fast pace. It makes you wonder, what's going to happen in another 10 years? But you know what? There's only so much of it we can fight. There's only so much of it we can hold back. The world is traveling fast, my friends, and like it or not, we have to keep up with it. And you know what? There's a lot of good in this world as well. Just think about it. Without social media and without the internet, I would never met all of you. So girls, keep yourself safe. And boys, if you got anything that you can help us out on ways that we can be safer in this world that we're living, please, I request your comments below because you guys have a lot of wisdom. Take care, everyone. God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday.